All right, good morning. Good morning. Okay, we're going to be playing a little game this morning, so everyone needs to be kind of in the middle right here. All right, I'm going to read you some stuff. If you think it's true, I want you to come over here. If you think it's not true, I want you to come over here, okay? True, not true. Does the people count? They're sitting right there, count as not true. All right, first one. Australia is wider than the moon. True, not true. I count. Not true, okay. It's true. What? I know. Come back to the come back to the middle. Australia is wider than the moon. All right. All right. Next one. Uh, a grizzly bear's bite is strong enough to crush a bowling ball. Oh. <laughs> Do you have experience with that? She's like, oh, I know this one. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we're a little split on this one. True. A grizzly bear. I bet they're so cute, but maybe don't pet them. Okay. Come back to the middle. All right, next one. Can they break our bones? If it can crush a bowling ball, I think it can probably bush, crush our bones. I think probably so. Our bones are... I go with, yeah. Okay, next one. Venus spins in the opposite direction of most of the planets. Venus spins the opposite direction of most of the planets. So its sun would rise in the west and set in the east. True, false. It's true. It spins opposite. I know, right? Is everything going to be true? Uh, maybe. Okay. Ooh, I liked this one. Ready? Germany has more castles than the United States has McDonald's. <laughs> it's true. I know, we were thinking. Okay, last one. Last one. Giraffes in the wild only sleep for about five minutes at a time. What? True. What? It's true. They only sleep about five minutes at a time so that because else something could come eat them. And they sleep standing up too. What? Yeah, that's like this goes. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So, all right, in our gospel lesson, in our gospel lesson, we're about to hear, Jesus is talking to his followers, and he says some stuff, and the followers say, whoa, that is a really hard thing to believe. I, I don't think I can believe that. Jesus was talking about the bread from, he's like, you eat and you eat and bread, but you'll never be satisfied. But if you eat me my body, my blood, I am the bread from heaven, and I am eternal life, and then you can come to the Father. And they said, whoa, we are not cannibals, we will not be eating Jesus, that's too much. And they turned around and they left. And Jesus turned to his disciples and he said, are you going to leave too? Do you believe me? And the disciples said, who else would we go to? You have the words of eternal life. So they knew that even though Jesus says things that maybe we don't understand right away or sounded kind of crazy, they knew that Jesus had the words of eternal life and Jesus knew what he was talking about. So when we're reading the Bible and we're having a hard time understanding, we can know that he's telling us the truth. And you know what? What do we do every week here at Christ Lutheran Church? Pray. Pray. What do we have up here? A cross. We have communion. So every single week we have the body and blood of Jesus. And what does it do for us? Do you guys know what communion does for us? Why do we do it? Because of Jesus. Because of Jesus, yes. But why? What does it do? Gifts. What does it do? It's, it's a means of grace, right? So it's forgiveness of sins. Every week we come and we receive forgiveness of sins. And what happens when your sins are forgiven? You get to go to heaven. Yeah, man. So was Jesus telling the truth to all of his followers that day? Yeah. He was, even though it sounded kind of crazy. All right, will you guys pray with me? Hold your hands. Dear God, thank you so much for sending Jesus. Help us to remember that you have the words 
of eternal life. We love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, guys. You can go back to your seats. Great job.